we're gonna do two fishtail braids on either side that are French fishtails. And then we are going to kind of disrupt that shape and create a beautiful updo. So I've already fishtail French braided one side, now I'm going to do the other. And for this part, I'm gonna leave a little bit of her bang. If you had a full bang, go ahead and leave that out. Or just some loose pieces around the front. Just so we get a little bit of softness around the face. And then I'm going to take a section and I'm gonna cut it into two pieces. And I'm just gonna begin fishtailing it. Gonna get a couple of good fishtail braids in before I start adding hair from either side for the French braid. Remembering to keep it nice and tight at the top. So now I'm gonna start integrating some hair. So I like to take a piece of hair, grab a little piece of the other half of our fishtail, and cross it over. So take a little bit of hair, take a little bit from your other side, cross it over. A little bit from the outside, cross it over. Tightening it up in between each time. So I'm pulling hair from the very top of the head, pulling it into the braid. So I'm gonna pull a little bit of hair from here, add a little bit from my outside here, and then cross it over to the other section. Grab a little piece from the other section and cross it over. Grab a little bit of hair, grab a little bit from my other section, and cross it over. You could do these sections as big or as little as you want to. I'm doing these a little bit bigger because we're gonna kind of mess them up at the end so they don't have to be too tedious. We'll just continue to cross over without adding in extra hair. And that usually happens on one side and then the other side is usually getting the nape into the hair. A little bit from the nape, cross it over, pull it tight. We're officially out of hair on that side. You can just take a little from that section, cross it over, and we're officially out of hair for the other side also. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take that and I'm actually gonna secure it with a clear rubber band right at the base of the head. I'm gonna create a little ponytail. And the reason I'm creating a ponytail is because it's gonna make continuing your fishtail braid so much easier. So we're gonna continue the fishtail braid on this bottom part. Just section that into two sections. And begin crossing it over to the other side. I'm taking big sections, I'm taking little section, sections, just keeping it um, not too coherent. I want it a little bit funner than that. Go to the end and then secure it with a small clear elastic band. And then do the same thing on the other side. <laughs> okay, so I just completed the other side and the other braid. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start loosening this up. And every so often, I'll push it up and see if I like the shape that it's happening. I'm gonna now remove the plastic that I put on there before. I'm gonna pinch right where I had that plastic with my hand. And I'm gonna take one hair out of the bottom. By one hair, I mean like five hairs. Then I'm just gonna start pulling that hair, keeping my fingers pinched. And you can see it's slowly moving the braid up. And so this then, is going to now create a beautiful textured appearance in the back. I'm gonna take this end piece first and bobby pin it. So I just, I'm tucking the loose ends underneath. Okay, then I'm going to do the other side, same thing. So I'm actually gonna take it, wrap it around the other direction. And there you have your fishtail updo.